Welcome back, everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do a little bit of math here, okay? So we can see that we changed the text to two, but guess what we can do with uh, this number here, okay? We can add in plus one, okay? And so what this will do is this will make it equal to three. Now, let's just do a little bit of math, let's say two, and then it'll equal to four. So you can do a little bit of math here, and I'm just gonna squeeze this in uh, here and well, don't worry about this because remember it doesn't change here. I just want to focus in on the JavaScript for a moment here. Okay, let's add in another variable here, and we can again remember we can add in as many variables as we want. We're going to call this number, um, or we'll call it second number. Okay, we're going to make it equal to two. So they're both equal to two, and we can do variable number plus second number okay now you'll also notice um, and I'll just move this out even a little bit more if I double click on this you can see that it highlights it and everything works out like that all right so if we change the text it equals to four pretty simple right now watch what happens if we type in variable name plus second number now in pretty much every other programming language this is going to cause some kind of error and the, and the reason why it causes an error is that in other programming languages, what ends up happening is that you can't add a number to a, a letter. It just it doesn't make sense. It's like you know if you ask if you ask yourself how many apples do we have and you have you know one apple plus an orange, it's like one, but it doesn't really make any sense to the computer. But watch what happens when you do this. Okay, it says John plus two. It just basically mashes everything together, and, and there's not really a better better term for that. It just it just puts them together. Really, that's all it does. Okay. Now you'll also notice that there is no space after John, and the reason is is that there is no space here. Now remember, in a couple tutorials ago, I said that. Uh, spaces is like adding another object and that's partly true except for when you have the quotes here if you have the quotes here you can put in you know 10 of these if you want doesn't matter so we're just gonna go ahead and push space and you can see that it says John 2 okay and of course let's just go ahead and let's just add another variable and we're gonna call this second string okay it's gonna be equal to two quotes and we're going to call this, um, we'll just say um, John plus awesome, okay? Put another space in there. And, of course, there's one thing that's missing, and that is a semicolon, okay? And, of course, we need to change second number to second string, okay? And uh, if we double-click on that, it does work. And there we go. That's all it is. Now, you can do this infinitely if you really want to, right? You can go ahead and push plus... Uh, variable number etc you can do this as much as you want uh, programming languages are meant to be like this uh, they're meant to be um, they're meant to be anything now of course um, if you go ahead and uh, if we were to just do one more bit of math here I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this here you can do any kind of math you want to so we have variable number minus two three and then we can go ahead, it equals to uh, negative one, okay? That makes perfect sense. You can do, do whatever you want. Uh, you can go times, and there we go, okay? So that, that's essentially how you use variables, and that's one thing that, that's really good about JavaScript is that's not gonna throw you an error. It's gonna work out in some way. However, I highly recommend that you separate your numbers and your, uh, your, your strings into different, uh, different categories, and that for the most part, you don't really do um, you don't really add them together like I did unless you're going to head and uh, doing that for display purposes. All right. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.